I'm going to teach you how to write prompts, how to sell them, and how to make money. AI is taking over society and we are living through a revolution, but many people don't have the time or the understanding of how to use prompts. And prompts are what it all comes down to. There are a number of ways to sell prompts. For example, this Etsy store has made over $50,000 in the last six months selling prompts. One of the most important things about selling prompts is actually doing the legwork for other people. The whole idea is you want to save people time. So by generating the prompts and putting them through mid-journey and selecting the best, you are saving people time. So you can create prompts for ChatGPT for creating SEO content, or you can be creating prompts for AI art generators like Midjourney for creating different types of art for many different situations. I'm going to be looking at AI art prompts for Midjourney for architecture. I'm doing this because I can see there is some search traffic for this specific term, Midjourney prompts for architecture. It's getting currently 90 searches a month and you can see that it's exponentially increasing. You can also have a look at a couple of profitable options by taking off the first two letters and you can see that realism, characters, and if you just start putting in the first letter of any word, it will give you more options for beautiful women, for business logos, coloring books, wall art, wallpaper, all of these are perfect niches that you can create guides of prompts for. AI prompts are like magic spells and you can sell your own book to other wizards looking to get the most out of AI technologies. So I will be using a plugin on ChatGPT that creates mid-journey art prompts. And to use this, all you have to do is make sure you're a plus user. If you are not a ChatGPT plus user, don't worry, I have this video where I explain how to prime ChatGPT to create mid-journey prompts without a plugin. Make sure you select ChatGPT4 and plugins. You'll need to install the realistic plugin, which uses a prompt that I developed in a previous video. So once you have the plugin installed and activated, all you have to do is request for a prompt in your given style. I have asked it to generate a prompt for a futuristic building in the style of Zaha Hadid. Now you can see we get two options for prompts which we can take and we're going to put them into mid-journey and generate these. So we're going to type in forward slash imagine, paste in both of our prompts here and at the same time we're going to ask for 50 more architecture prompts. Now, what you might want to do is to start breaking this down into categories. So you could look at residential buildings, commercial buildings, uh, functional buildings like stadiums, skyscrapers, or any other type of structure that you can imagine. This allows you to then segregate and order your book in a more natural way. And now ChatGPT will continue making prompts and we can take these and continue putting them into Midjourney. And you can see already we're getting some pretty stunning architectural prompts. I asked it specifically in this case for architecture in the style of Zaha Hadid, who is one of my favorite architects. But you might also ask for prompts in the style of other famous architects. Some architects that I will be exploring include Frank, Frank Geary, Antonio Gaudi. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start to order these and save them and put them into a guide. And I'm going to be using a fantastic tool called Kittle. Kittle is a fantastic AI design tool that allows you to apply advanced text effects and use a whole library of very well designed templates. So I'm going to start off with a poster template and I'm looking for something that's going to fit for architecture prompts. So I quite like this template, which has this modern photographic feel to it. It's an urban street photography poster template, but I was also tempted by a couple of other options. Firstly, this art exhibition one could work well. And even this Mondrian style piece, art is the path to being spiritual. Beautiful advice. But I'm gonna go with this design. This will give us uh, some great typographic elements to use for our cover. And I'm going to replace the text. And I'm going to take one of these prompts and I'm going to adjust it so that it's going to fit in the aspect ratio that I've got for the image in Kittle. So I'm going to change the aspect ratio at the end to 9 by 16. And I'm also going to ask it to be black and white, have repeating elements and high contrast. This is so that it fits the same style as the image that is in the cover already. And whilst that's going, I'm going to come back and I'm going to check on how all of our prompts are going. 
And you can see it stopped after five. You naughty chat GPT, and I will say, please continue. And please use influences from famous architects like Gary Hadid and Gaudi. But I'll take a few more of these and paste them in whilst we're waiting. This is the way to go. You've got to have a few working threads on at the same time. Time. It is your act of refinement that is giving people value. Think of yourself as a fine wine connoisseur, selecting the best vintage. Oh, wow, yes, these are looking great. I might even regenerate these to get some more options. It's always good to regenerate your works. I also like this one because it has some people at the bottom, which brings that feeling of reality and life to a building. And so I hop back into Kittle and I'm going to upload my own image. And we do that by going to the left-hand side, going to the Uploads icon and selecting Upload Media. From here, we've uploaded our image and we can simply drag and drop it into the piece. We can now position it. And if you come to the Layers panel, which is in the bottom right-hand corner, you can move it to where you want it to go. Now, in Kittle, there is also an option to use its own AI art generator. And to do that, you can come to the left-hand side, down to the bottom left, and select the little star, which is Kittle AI. We can even try pasting in our mid-journey prompt. without the parameters at the end, which are only relevant for mid-journey. And you can see it's outputted a pretty interesting stylized abstract section from a building, which is actually fairly beautiful. And you can see, if we just remove the image there, you can see that it works fairly well. But I will leave my image in from the original version. And from here, you can come to the top right-hand corner and you can download your design. So now you come up to the right-hand corner and we're going to export our beautiful design and we're going to make sure that we export it as an SVG. From here we're going to come to Figma which is a new tool we're going to be using to combine our book. You can use any design software that you like and so we can drag and drop our design into Figma and what we're going to do is we're going to press A which means artboard then we're going to select on the right hand side paper and we're going to select A4 which is going to be the vertical size of our beautiful Work. We're then going to press Alt and drag the artboard across to create a second artboard. You can also, of course, press A again and click on A4 once more, which will also create you a new artboard. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to paste the example images as well as the prompt into the document. So we're going to come back to Midjourney and start saving each of these. Now, I suggest doing the four option and one upscale too. Now, we come back into Figma and we're going to drag and drop these onto the page by going to our downloads, dragging and dropping them over, popping them in, and we can resize them, put them next to each other, select them both, and just drag and resize them. Now we'll go with a pretty simple layout here. We'll put them next to each other, and then we're going to take the prompt as well, and we're going to paste the prompt underneath I will title it, and that's looking pretty jazzy. You can spend some time adapting the layout as you want. You might also want to add some extra features, such as page numbers and a contents page, as well as an overall guide about how to use this book. Of course, you can use ChatGPT for that content. You could ask it to write a short introduction for a book about AI art prompts for architecture. And exactly, we've got some great information to put here at the beginning of our book. But I will now repeat this process until we have a full PDF of all 50 pages. And once you're done, you can select all of the pages and then come to the top left-hand corner and go to File, Export Frames to PDF. And what this will do is it will give us a whole PDF exported. And now when we open this up, we will have our entire beautiful book together. As we're going to be selling this on online marketplaces as well as our own online shop, we're going to need a few preview images. So I suggest that you use some of the architectural images as well as generating a book cover mock-up. So one place you can get free mock-ups is from Mock-up World. 
you come here, it will allow you to search for different types of mockups. You can search for a book, and you can see we've got some interesting book mockups here. We have to see which one of these takes your fancy. I think I want one without hands. And another option is to generate your own mockup using Midjourney. And another simple way that you can do this is to look on Unsplash for pictures of book covers. I'll be using this very simple mockup. Next up, we're going to upload our book to a couple of different marketplaces. Now, there are a number of different ways to sell your prompts online. One is to sell them individually using a service called PromptBase. I put one prompt up on here and it has sold a grand total of $20, but I only put one prompt up and I did not put any effort to marketing it. But you can see that people do buy prompts. But what I recommend is selling on Etsy. This is because I've been doing a little bit of research and I found this one shop, Fexil, which is only selling prompts for different platforms. And they've had more than 4,000 sales and at an average cost of around $10 per product. That's going to be giving them at least a revenue of $50,000. And it looks like they've only been operating since the beginning of this year. So they've done pretty well in the last five months with around $10,000 a month in revenue. I can also use this tool called Fexel, which gives us more detailed insights into the analytics of their shop. You can see which is the top seller. You see it's this ChatGPT Etsy listing generator. So this is a great example of finding an excellent niche that you might want to target. So it looks like exact prompts for generating listings could be a great area to focus on. You could be doing this for Etsy, for Creative Market, for Amazon, for all sorts of different marketplaces tailored to creating your listings quickly. And yes, you can see they joined November 30th last year. But you can see for sure this is a profitable new niche that you can move into and make good money from. Maybe we'll even buy their Etsy listing generator <laughs> and give it a go to speed up our listing creation. That would be helpful. But what we're going to do is we're going to create our own listing. Now I'm going to give you a quick few tips here when you're creating your own listing. So once you're creating a new listing, we're going to make sure to add really high quality photos. So we're going to be adding our beautiful presentations. And for the first image, you want to be using more of a ad style image than a representation of the product. So it's really good to have the mock-up of a book later on because it puts in people's minds, it's more of a physical, tangible object that people are more willing to pay for because if they can actually feel it and hold it, it feels more real. And this definitely puts into people's eyes, into their minds, that they're willing to buy a book, so why wouldn't they buy a digital version of the book? Now, you're also going to really want to spend some time on the title and keywords. So we're going to be making sure that we use the keyword that we identified earlier, which was mid-journey prompts for architecture. You're also going to want to use ChatGPT to generate a listing. And we can use ChatGPT to do that too. Now, we looked at some of the pricing. And I think a price of around $13 would be fair in this market. You also have the opportunity to run sales on Etsy, which definitely draws in more buyers. So think about how you're doing that. Make sure to change your quantity to 999 so you don't run out of stock. That's important. And you can choose at the bottom whether you want to advertise your listing. I suggest putting some ads out, at least for the first few days. And when you're ready, you can go and submit your product. Now, I recommend that you try to drive traffic to your prompts in any ways you can. I had some success in generating some blog traffic. So I created a blog posts with top prompts for each category. And I will show you how some of these worked out. So I had some success getting organic traffic with 10 best mid-journey DND character prompts. And also for 10 best mid-journey logo prompts. And what's great about this is you funnel people through to the 10 free prompts, and then you can advertise your own product in the blog post. So it's a great way to generate free traffic as well as driving people towards your paid offering. You can also do this broadly. So I did quite a few different versions and you can see which are getting the most traffic and then you can even build a product based on your research. So you can see here that uh, a lot of them have been getting organic traffic, but the best performing ones are logo and character DND prompts, which is Dungeons and Dragons, I believe, is the DND shorthand for this. So of course, you can also be promoting your work through other social media sources like YouTube, Instagram, and even within Midjourney itself. So I'm going to create a couple more guides and we're going to come back and check how they've got on in a couple of weeks time.
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please support the channel by leaving a comment. Have a delightful day.